when the prospect of working on a Jagged Alliance game came up, uh, first I was a little skeptical because of some of the games that were produced quickly just to try to make some money off the IP. But when THQ approached me and said, no, we want to make the spiritual successor to Jagged Alliance 2, they got my attention. I was, I was excited. Having Ian on the team is uh, quite amazing. He joined us uh, originally as a writer, but he's also the father figure for the Giant Alliance series. Uh, both Giant Alliance 1 and Giant Alliance 2 are his babies, and just even having the opportunity to meet him and now to work with him is quite uh, exciting. So I got started in video games in the late 80s when PCs became available to everybody. and. People started making games with graphics. As soon as I saw graphics, I got hooked. And I started off just playing games, and eventually I got kind of fussy about the games and said, I, I think it should work this way, or, or why isn't someone making a game like this? Anyone want a chocolate covered cashew? Hello there. So for me, a true Jag Alliance product has got to have the following elements. It's got to have a strategy layer where the player is making decisions on a grand scale. Two, it's got to have solid tactical gameplay. Three, it's got to have all the characters, uh, the interaction between the characters, and um, it's got to have story. We have enough already. If you ever hurt my darlings, I will pay someone to find and kill you. Jedi Lions has a lot of history, a, a very deep legacy. There's a lot of uh, passion in the fan base. They have kept this game alive for years just with modding, and they know this game by heart. It's, it's a game that has a huge following 20 plus years from the latest installments, like from the second part, and it's still alive up until this day. So it, it has something unique in it. I think that we are up to the task and we're gonna bring those three main pillars and those really important things to this third installment. So not uh, pointing the fans and getting the right stuff in is very important. Working with Hemimon has been a lot of fun because, um, first of all, they're very funny people. They've got really quirky senses of humor. I'm not ready to die yet. I still haven't won the approval of my parents. But they're very serious. And then, of course, there's Buyan, who's one of the lead designers on the game. And. He's a really, really interesting guy because he's he's a Jag Alliance fan. Um, he knows games well. He is a seasoned game designer. Played Jagged Alliance the series uh, from the inception. I am from that generation, actually. We got those back in the day here in Bulgaria from pirated bootleg yeah. CDs. When I found it in the early 2000s, I haven't stopped playing it ever since then. I usually do a playthrough of Jagged Alliance 2 every year. Yeah. And it's one of my all-time favorites. Obstacles in game development are a common thing. It's how you overcome them that's important. And a lot of that comes down to having the right people on the team. People who understand what the game is all about, what the heart and soul of it is. And working with Heimamon has been great because they are all huge fans of the series. They get it. Having the creator of Jai Alliance in the series helps us bounce different ideas uh, from him and he will instantly know if that's something that fits into the Jagged Alliance universe and the style of Jagged Alliance. Every uh, person who's played and smashed about the last game, well, this, this looks interesting, don't fuck it up. So, no pressure, no pressure. <laughs> so it really is very ambitious project and something that um, I could look back and say that was one of the things I wish I could have done with Jagged Alliance 2. Well, um, we're getting to do it with Jagged Alliance 3, which is fantastic.